Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. This week we're going to be showing you guys three 1966 Ford Mustangs. We have driver quality all the way up to concourse. These two right here are going to be our driver quality pieces. This is Ember Glow and this is Blue Beauty. Today we're going to talk about the Ember Glow Mustang and then later on in the week you're going to see a black on black real deal A code with every single option. These also have every option too. Be sure to like and subscribe so we can give you more content like this. We're going to start off with the front end of Emberglow. Uh, to find out full details, to see a full photo gallery and a full description, you're going to look down below in the description. There's going to be a link there for the car. You're going to be able to see if it's for sale still. We offer financing. We can ship worldwide. Back to this specific vehicle, I rated a driver quality paint job, six and a half out of ten. Chrome is very nice. It has a ton of additional options. So you have factory air, power steering, power brakes. The paint itself is super clean. You got the pony up front. The chrome bumper is really nice. There is a small uh, imperfection right here from when they delivered the vehicle. We didn't catch that until they left. So you guys got to watch out for those transporters. I'm going to walk on down the driver's side now. You're going to see that it does have the rubber strips on the side to protect it from dents. A lot of people did that back then. You've got your beautiful wheels and there are drums on all four corners, but these are power assist. And open up the hood. Look at how nice the paint is in the sun. Boom, 289, vintage air, power steering, power assist brakes. We just did a full service on this, so we have brand new electronics, brand new flamethrower, all new fluids and filters, AC is ice cold. This is totally a driver quality car. You wanna look at this? So it's a C code, this is not a six cylinder originally, this was a V8 car. So if you're in Europe and you're trying to get this thing registered, that will be no problem. We did new hoses as well. The list goes on. <laughs> new hoses, we went through the brakes. A lot of little things. Driver's side's really nice. All your emblems are great. Has white wall tires. It just really adds to the whole entire color effect with the white top and then the pony interior with the center console. I'm gonna open up the door. Opens up easily. You got that brown carpet to match your door, door trim pieces. All this works great. Your windows go up and down with ease. Just a nice driver. The best part about it, you can literally just jump in it and it starts right up. Center console, AC that is ice cold, and an aftermarket radio. Let's shut it off for right now and we'll continue on with the trip. Listen to how the door closes. Nice and even throughout. Got your gills there, white walls. And let me open up the trunk so I can show you the whole thing. Chrome in the rear is really nice. Tail lights look like they've been replaced with aftermarket pieces and they look nice and look new. When you open up the trunk, it has a deluxe carpet kit and it shows very well. You have a spare, uh, you have your tools for the wheel, spare tire under here. And it also has a white wall, which is nice. Let me pull the mat up. So you can see that it's nice and clean. Let me pull this side. You should never leave these things loose in the trunk because if you hit a bump, they could dent your trunk. There you go. You can see how it looks. Nice and solid. I'm gonna close the trunk now. We'll go down the passenger side. Passenger side looks just like the driver's side. I see one small imperfection right here and one right here too. A little bit of marking on the door and a small crack right here. When you open up the door cards, you're going to see that the rubber is original in the door. Lights are illuminating as they should, and the window does go up and down with ease. For this test drive, we'll leave the windows up because it's so windy here in Florida today. Interior is really nice. I mean, you could drive this every day. Let me jump in it and I'll start it up so you can hear the exhaust. And when I said 289, so this is a 289 that they did a, I guess a 302 cam. So the motor was recently rebuilt and that was nice. We actually took it apart because we had an issue with the ignition and timing at the beginning of the purchase. It took us about 30 hours to figure it out, but now she runs mint. Fires right up easily.
Sounds really good. One thing I'm gonna tell you, so we buy cars from all over the United States and auctions. There's a reason why we have a five-star reputation online. It's because we buy these cars, we describe them as they are, and we go through them diligently so that you can actually jump in it and drive it. Let's go ahead and jump in this one and take it for a ride. We're inside the cabin of the 66. I'm gonna fire it off again. Hear the AC kick on, and it is cold. It's actually really cold. Let's lower that to one. You have all of your gauges here, a fuel gauge, oil pressure, which is not hooked up right now. We had to wait for a specific nut, and we're gonna get that on Wednesday. Amps working and temperatures working. You do have an aftermarket radio, and I'm gonna look in the into the fuses to see why it's not turning on, because it does look pretty recent. Your glove box is really nice, and you can see the light illuminating. And you do have a padded dash, and the headliner is very nice. Newer speakers in the rear too, so for sure it's probably a fuse. We'll get that taken care of, that's no problem. Wipers, wipers work as they should. And then our lights, yeah, I can see them reflecting. Let's go ahead and put this thing into drive. All right, we're gonna take it right here on Ravenswood. And what I'll do is I'll just open it up. Pretty peppy. That's to 50 miles an hour. I don't hear any exhaust leaks. Steering feels really good. Just a nice car overall. We're going 50 and we're in the AC, so if you wanted to drive this every day, you could. We're about to go over some bumps here. It's actually really comfortable. The seats are really comfortable too. The padding's not dead yet. What do you think? Drive is pretty good, like a modern car. Here, driver for sure. here we go, a little bump. Not bad. If you have any questions about this specific car, give us a call at 954-363-2261. What I'm gonna do is turn around and we'll get some outside shots so you can make your decision on this specific car. So that pulsation you just felt, that's the drums that are out of round in the front. I already ordered a brand new uh, replacement kit for the drum, the cylinder, and then the springs. We're gonna get that all sorted before the next purchaser buys it. That's the one thing that we try to do, try to make them turn key so that the next person doesn't have to get it and throw a whole bunch of money at it. Basically, I'm like a charity that fixes these things and makes a little bit of money and you guys get to have fun with it. Oh, yeah, baby. Actually drives really nice. I'll pull over here in the grass and then uh, I'll just do some drive-bys. But this is a pulsation, so that's how you know that the drums are starting to be out around. And that's from sitting. Uh, the black Mustang that we have right now in the, sh in the shop, we're doing all four new drums, all new cylinders, basically a full rebuild of all the brakes. And that's just a part of buying cars from the auction or from individuals that are trying to get rid of them. We just have to bring it to the next level. you can see that the brakes were shaking. We already have all the new components here. So these are the drums that we're gonna put on, along with the pads, and then a full rebuild kit uh, for the cylinders right here. This is the black Mustang we were talking about. So here's all of our rebuild kit and our cylinders for the brakes. There she is. This is the beautiful one that's gonna be going up Wednesday, Thursday. I've never seen one with the body this straight and underneath it is killer. If you have any questions about any of these Mustangs, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Just wanted to show you guys that we actually try to make them as drivable as possible before we sell them. We're not just going to throw them out. That's, this specific car was 35 hours of time because we had to figure out an electrical issue. We had to do coolant hoses, uh, ignition. We did the Petronix swap out, spark plugs, wires, oil, filter, and then front brakes as well. But now it runs great, as you can see, and I hope it finds a new home. Thanks.